Hello there friends and welcome. This is a guide on how to easily farm rune arcs so that you can activate your great runes as many times as you want. By default whenever you want to activate a great rune you'll have to use a rune arc and it will last you until death. And getting rune arcs is pretty simple too, you can farm them both online and offline. Online being the easiest method which is the one I'll start out with. To get a rune arc while online all you have to do is either help a player defeat a boss through multiplayer co-op or if you're doing PvP, defeat the host. Helping others defeat bosses is certainly easiest and one of the fastest ways to acquire a massive amount of rune arcs. I have 42 here for example. The key to farming rune arcs in this method is actually not to bother with story bosses like Godric, Margit and so on because these bosses are not only hard but they also have second phases for long boss battles and cutscenes too which the host might end up watching. What you should do is focus on the other bosses that tend to be easy to defeat and don't have cutscenes at all. A good example early game is the Crystallian boss at the lakeside crystal cave in the Lyurnia of the Lakes region because most players will have to go here if they want to get infinite smithing stones number 1 and 2. For the mid game, one of my preferred bosses to farm the arcs is right here in the town of Celia in the Kaelid region, beyond these doors. The Nox Swordsman and Priestess, they are very simple to defeat and have no cutscenes. For the upper part of the mid game, I suggest you go for Godfrey in the Royal Capital, so right beyond these doors here. It is a story boss, but not really that hard and there's no cutscenes before or after. Now as far as the late game, my preferred choice is Commander Nial, right here at the Castle Soul area. There's no cutscenes before him and it's a very popular area. For example, I'm level 121 and it doesn't really take longer than 5 seconds for me to be summoned. Elden Ring is a very popular game at the moment, with hundreds of thousands of players online at any given moment. So being summoned for a boss multiplayer is super fast and very simple. Now the easiest way to farm rune arcs offline is by defeating rat enemies. And the best way is at the Castle Morn area, at the southern end of the Weaving Peninsula region, just progress through the castle until you reach the beside the Rampart Gaol Grace. You can find 4 rat enemies very close to the Grace, right here, less than 5 seconds away from it. Beyond these gates. It's pretty easy to farm, although a bit grindy because the rune arcs are a rare drop from these rats. But on the other hand, they are super close to the Grace, so just rest at it for them to respawn. There are ways of increasing your item discovery, mine at the moment is 197, to increase your chances of them dropping the rune arcs. You can increase it by getting talismans such as the Silver Scarab, which unfortunately is pretty late game, or the Silver Tear Mask, which is somewhat mid game. Most importantly, by using the consumable Silver Pickled Fall Foot. This will increase your item discovery by around 50 points, and does last for a decent amount of time, plus it is a craftable item even at the early game so perfect for just using again and again. This loot buff will actually persist if you rest at the grace, so perfect for farming. Just remember that you cannot teleport to a grace when under the effect, otherwise you will lose the buff. So just activate the item, kill the rats, then just run back to the grace and rest at it for them to respawn. But honestly, in most cases, by the time you get a rune arc from the rats, even with very high item discovery, you would probably have already gotten like 5 to 10 rune arcs by defeating bosses through multiplayer. Alright everyone, so this was it for my rune arc farming guide. I hope I've managed to properly explain to you how simple it is to get them, especially through multiplayer. Please remember to support the channel if you can by liking, subscribing and even becoming a member. Thank you for watching and see you next time friends.